the doctors, the EMTs, how are they coping in the aftermath? And what if they were missing their own relatives while they were saving the lives of those injured? Joining me now is Dr. Lena Wen. She's an emergency room physician who was working at Massachusetts General Hospital the day of the terror attack. She also works at Brigham and Women's Hospital. So you were at Massachusetts General Monday. What happened? Oh, it was a horrific day. We had no idea what was coming. It was 3 o'clock, and we heard that there were two explosions, but we didn't know where. We had no idea how many people were coming to us. How many people came? It seemed like dozens, and it was. It was probably nearly three dozen patients in two hours or so. And was the hospital ready for it? I had heard from Dr. Walls from the other, uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital that because of all the drills the hospitals here have been running since 9-11, you were unbelievably prepared. Technically and medically, we were ready. We had done drills. We knew what to do with each individual patient who came in. But I've never seen trauma like this before. The volume and the nature of the trauma was really chilling and really shocking. And on a personal note, you hadn't yet heard from your husband while this was all going on. And then you hear a cell phone ring. You reach into your pocket, but it wasn't your cell phone ringing. Yeah, so we actually live just a block away from here, from Copley Square. And my husband had told me that he was coming to watch at the finish line. And then we heard that the explosions happened. So while I was treating patients, I had no idea whether the next patient was going to be my husband. I thought, oh. I mean, I really thought because there was soot and blood everywhere, I thought there was a good chance that the next patient I'd be seeing on the stretcher would turn out to be my husband. But he was okay. He ended up being unharmed, but I couldn't reach him for hours because of phone lines being full and all these things. So. One of the things that Dr. Walls told me is that he, he talked to his protege who works in Colorado and dealt with the Aurora shootings. Right. And he said, what's one piece of advice? And he said, we took care of our people, the emotional trauma that they felt, but you can always do more. It still wasn't enough. Have you found that? Or are the doctors and nurses and others who work at the hospital, are they still dealing with this and struggling with it? Absolutely. I know that. I certainly do. I have nightmares. And whenever I hear sirens or the loudspeaker for the ambulance going off, I think about Monday. And it's something that I know I have to do better at. I need to take care of myself and our colleagues in order, to, in order for us to take care of our patients going forward, too. Well, thank you for the work you do, Dr. Wen. And, and I'm glad you're OK. And, and keep up the great work. Thank you.